and with a win. Um, you know, but but <laughs> I'm the head coach, and I see all the stuff that needs work. And even though we won the ball game, we still have a lot of work to do. And that is, uh, you know, we gave up way too many offensive rebounds to Coastal Carolina. And that is is disappointing, and it's a lack of discipline. And that's something that we've got to, you know, we've got to do a better job. We've got to get to work and do a better job on, on not allowing that to happen. Um, and then we've got to do a better job of going to the offensive board. So I'm looking forward to going back and watching the film and, and seeing where we can um, definitely do a better job of, of going to the glass. Um, it's uh, scoring 83 points, and that's, I'm really pleased with that. And that is with Kara Dunn, who um, was um, you know, out of the game, what, a minute, 12 seconds she played. So we had to adjust to her being gone. Uh, because she is definitely has been playing her best basketball of her you know time here at Georgia Tech. So unfortunate. I don't, I don't know what's wrong. Um, she'll be evaluated, and um, hopefully it's not you know hopefully it's just something she's we can get through. So, um, but we we still have work to do, and we'll get back to work this week and get ready for our next one. She's one you don't have to worry about getting on the board. She's always. Who are you talking about? Blackshear. Oh, KB. Yeah, yeah. She's got, well. She was our leading offensive rebounder. Maybe, was she our leading rebounder last year? She. I know she was our leading uh, offensive rebounder. Yes, she was. Um, but no, she has a real nose for the ball um, on both ends of the floor. But today, um, what does she end up? With? Only one O board. Now, give credit to Coastal Carolina. If they're doing their job boxing us out, and we're not being able to get to it, but. Um, I thought there were a lot of loose balls we should have gotten. There were a lot of 50-50 uh, balls that we just aren't grabbing. Again, credit to Coastal Carolina because I thought that that was a scrappy, hard-nosed team. I'm, I'm, I like that team. I think they're going to do really well in the Sun Belt, and I wish them well. Um, but they, they challenged us uh, every which way you could. Their press was effective, I thought, against us. It slowed us down, and, um, and that, um, you know, that kept the game close for a, a good while. You had, you had a lot of new, new faces today. Yeah. Bruce went, went off with the four threes by the time the game was over. Yeah. How did you feel about all your new freshmen? Yeah, um, I think that our freshmen really did a nice job. I thought DeAsia Thomas came in and played well. Um, Rusna is, is someone who just loves the game of basketball. You can tell it when she plays it. She plays it with an energy that is – is um, it's it's inspiring and it's it's really uh, fun to have on the on the floor, and she plays hard every play she plays hard along with Neguero also, um, but I, I you know again we're young we're talking about players who are young trying to find their way and and get that experience but I was I was pleased with um, with how she did today in Deasia Thomas. Looking uh, more at the two freshmen, Bruce Nate, she plays with a lot of confidence. She doesn't look like a freshman out mm -hmm. there. Thomas does look like a freshman, but you see what the flashes of what the, with her. Exactly. And she's someone that can get rebounds, can have an offensive threat down low, which she may not have right now. Yeah, she's you know, she's a work in progress. You know, that's a that's one that That'll just keep getting better and better. If she keeps working hard, she'll keep getting better and better as the season goes. And we need her to. Um, we need that. We need her presence down low. She's a really good offensive rebounder. She has a nose for the ball. Um, her minutes today, what, 17 minutes? She has a couple of O boards, uh, five rebounds. So that's, you know, I, I like that. And when you can get, when you can have that kind of presence on the floor, that gets you more playing time. So I was pleased with her. I thought we were. I thought until they threw the press on us, and that really kind of slowed us down. And so we've got to do, you know, if that's what people are going to do, we've got to do a better job with our press breaker because we didn't, we weren't really expecting that, so we hadn't been working on that a lot. But um, 
you know, people want to do that to us, then we're going to have to be able to break a press quicker because we still want to be able to attack. You know, you, you should still have some numbers, even if people are going to press you um, to be able to attack the glass. Yeah. Before. We all know Richardson's a, yeah. a, a good player. It seemed like at times there wasn't help defense because you knew they were going to drive to the hoop. That's their game, and there was nobody there to step out and, and pick them up. Yeah, we, um, you know, we we work hard to stop strong hand drives, and they were getting us on the right hand, right hand, right hand. At the end of the game, I thought we started the game well and kind of took that away, but then we ended up, as the game went on, we were substituting and we, we, we lost our focus a little bit. And um, that's, you know, it's hard. It's hard to stop a strong downhill drive. And then we were fouling. We fouled way too much. So we've got work to do there. There's definitely work to do. Did you enjoy playing in front of 5,000 kids? Yeah, I thought it was great. I thought that they were really good. Um, and, and I enjoy the morning, actually. I know that sounds crazy, but a lot of times we practice in the morning. So it's a, they're fresh, the players are fresh, they're used to getting up early. But yeah, I thought, it, I think this is a great opportunity to, to reach out to your community and, and maybe inspire a bunch of young kids to want to come to Georgia Tech, play basketball, or do, you know, or be a coach, who knows. But I think it's a really good, um, I like playing this game, and I'm glad we're back to doing it. Thanks, y'all. Thanks,